All right, we're going to take a few moments now to look at demonstrative pronouns in German. Um, what we're first going to do is take a brief look at demonstrative pronouns in English and then do a quick review of definite articles in German. Uh, because we're going to see that demonstrative pronouns are exactly the same as the definite articles. Um, and then we're going to end this presentation with some uh, examples of how to use demonstrative pronouns in German. So, by way of review, uh, demonstrative pronouns in English are fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, the two that you see on the screen are excellent examples of demonstrative pronouns. That man is my friend. Or, These apples are good. Essentially, a demonstrative pronoun in English is either this, that, or these. Uh, you're pointing something out. You're uh, demonstrating it. That's, uh, thus the uh, term demonstrative. Now, in German, uh, as it seems like in everything else, demonstrative pronouns require a bit of extra work. Um, essentially, however, you'll see that they're exactly the same as the definite articles. What, what, a dem what the demonstrative pronouns in German require is the knowledge of first um, the noun that it modifies. Is this noun masculine, feminine, or neuter? And you'll recall that the definite articles in German are masculine der, feminine d and neuter das. So in the singular, these nouns uh, manifest gender, masculine, feminine, neuter. Or you'll also recall that these nouns also manifest uh, number. Is a noun singular or is it plural? And once we determine that, we know that if it's singular, it'll either be der, der di, or das. Or if it's plural, it'll simply be di. All right. Well, those are the a quick review of of uh, noun genders uh, and number, and and essentially a quick review of of definite articles in German. Now, the trick is that the definite articles in German are the exact same thing as the demonstrative pronouns. They're used a bit differently. However, um, you'll recall that we have the the definite articles in the nominative case being der, die, das, die, and in the accusative case being dein, die, das, die, that we have this Oklahoma box, that things inside the Oklahoma box stay the same, and once we move outside of this box, um, we the definite articles, or in this case, the demonstrative pronouns change. And the only thing that we really need to look out for is the masculine noun, which changes from der to dein. So, how do we use demonstrative pronouns? Um, the example we have on the screen uh, on the screen is das ist die Lampe. That is the lamp. Now we have a third person singular verb ist, and uh, we know that whenever you, we use ist or some form of sein, that we will be dealing with the nominative case. Therefore, die Lampe is going to be uh, in the nominative case. Now, what if I wanted to point out the lamp, say that lamp? What I simply do is I will take the definite article and use it as a demonstrative pronoun. Die ist schön. The is beautiful. Now, you still notice that I'm using die, um, the definite article. It's still in the nominative case. I dropped out lamp. Lampe has completely disappeared from the sentence. That is because I know I'm referring to the lamp by the context of the conversation or the context of the dialogue. Um, it refers back to the lamp. Das ist die Lampe, die ist schön. Now, I could also do the same thing in the accusative case. Now, we have here a, a masculine noun. because so I want to use, uh, I want to show very precisely that uh, demonstrative pronoun changes as well when it's used accusatively. Uh, das ist der Tisch. Uh, that is the table. Now we have a form of sein, is, so we're going to be using nominative case. 
uh, datish is in a nominative uh, has been uh, declined nominatively. That's a proper term for it. Anyway, um, das ist der Tisch. Now, what if I am doing something to the table, or someone's doing something to the table? Den hat er. He has it. That he has. Now, I'm still referring to der Tisch, except now we have a subject in the sentence, er, he, and he has this table, therefore we're going to shift that whole uh, noun, pronoun, into the accusative case. But since I'm already referring to, about, uh, talking about the table, it's understood out of the context of the sentence, I could just leave Tish off table, I could just completely remove it from the sentence. I still, however, am using the definite article, but I'm using it as a demonstrative pronoun. Dane hat er. Now, we could also do the same thing with people. So, das ist Peter. That is Peter. Uh, Peter is a masculine noun or a masculine person. Uh, here we here he is in the nominative case. Um, we have a third person singular verb of sein or uh, form of the verb sein. Uh, I'm identifying Peter, so no actions being performed on him. Therefore, it's going to be in the nominative case. Um, das ist Peter. Der kommt morgen. He is coming tomorrow. I'm not using a personal pronoun, er, but instead I'm using a demonstrative pronoun, that person, that Peter, uh, the one I am indicating, him. Uh, der kommt morgen. So the, tr the idea here is that I could substitute people with uh, a personal pronoun, er or z, uh, for third person singular, he or she, or if I'm pointing at this person, I'm indicating this person, I can also use a demonstrative pronoun. Now this demonstrative pronoun will be exactly the same as the, as the uh, definite article that would that I would use in that specific instance. Now, der kommt morgen. This is something, this use of the demonstrative pronoun to refer to people is uh, colloquial. You'll hear a lot of younger people uh, use this sort of grammar structure. I used it once with a uh, older person at the table and uh, referring not to her, but to someone else. And I was corrected that it wasn't proper German. I should use a personal pronoun, er. So uh, bear in mind that you can use these, pers these demonstrative pronouns to refer to people. Um, younger people will use these more frequently in a colloquial setting. Um, older people, not so much so. Something to keep in mind as you use demonstrative pronouns.